Okay, hey everybody, this is gonna be another episode of, you guessed it, Redneck Gourmet. again for, you guessed it, the Redneck Gourmet. Today I'll be showing you how to make Redneck Gourmet crock pot chicken and dumplings. So here we go. What you're going to need is, okay, before you start anything, I always like to have my crock pot start warming up for about 10 minutes, something like that. This is going to be on high, all right? What you're going to need it's about six, six chicken breasts, two cans of chicken broth, two cans of crema chicken soup, and two cans of water. But, well, since I'm going to use uh, one of each of these, going to even it out. And since you can see there's nothing, there's not a free can, I'll just use two. Y'all get one thing. Anyway. Uh, a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, half a teaspoon of paprika. And a half a teaspoon of pepper. And bit I'll tell you how many cans of this four pack I use. Cause be honest with you. Okay. Be honest with you, I just don't know. So let's get it going. What y'all think? I think so. I Okay, what I do is I pick it up with a thing of tongs. Oh yeah, that's a pair of tongs. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yes, come on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Six chicken breasts. Then just move that to the side because, well, that's all chickeny and you don't want to put that in your mouth because, well, it's chicken and, well, you can get sick on that crap. Next thing a half a teaspoon of pepper. Then a half a teaspoon of paprika. Yeah, that looks good. And now a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Now, what we're going to do now is add the chicken broth stock, whatever you want to call it. And I will be right back because I got to get a spoon and actually put the, uh, that, the cream of chicken soup in there because well be honest with you I can't do that one handed so once that's in there I will show you so there you go be right back okay now that we're back and you can see I've got the cream of chicken soups in there ain't the most cleanly way to do it but well as y'all know I'm the redneck gourmet I do what I want 
here's the water. As one can. Yeah, I went ahead and tried to get a bit more of the stuff out of that, but these cream of chicken soup don't exactly uh, get the cleanest, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, so what you do now is you go over here, you put your clock on as high as it'll go. This thing only goes for two hours, but since this thing actually needs to go for four hours before I start putting the uh, the dumplings in and top up the chicken for another two hours, I had to do two of those and then come back and do that, do that, and then put that in there for yeah. So anyway, I'll see. I will see y'all in four hours. Four hours later. Okay. So I went ahead and I uh, pulled the uh, chicken after t after four hours and chopped it all up. Now you're just basically just gonna turn to splash yourself because that would be hot, and it is. Okay, I told you I would uh, tell you how many. Uh, how many packs of these biscuits I was these uh Pillsbury f biscuits flaky layers? I use three. Cause well that's kind of a small biscuit. Anyway. I cut I basically took each biscuit and quartered it. Cause well I kinda like kind of a, a large dumpling. As you can see, that's kind of a big dumpling. Then we just well, just pop them in there, you know, simple. Bonk. I go one at a time because I don't want to crowd, don't want where they start sticking together, you know? Because, well, I don't like that, you know? Bonk. So. Let me just move this out of the way because I don't want that to get uh, dirty and make it Dag bless it. I'm gonna need to wipe off this cat this stove top after I get done, but well ow crap that hurt. Watch out because this stuff will hit you, will splash and hit you in it. It is hot. Just like that one. I don't know. What do y'all think? Is it looking good? Let me see what it is. Oh yeah, it's starting to look good. Yeah, baby. It does take longer to do this, but I think I find it helps with the making of the uh, dumplings. So once I'll put, I'll saw, see y'all when it's done. Well, I had to stop filming there for a second because my brother walked in. Yes, uh, basically, just keep keep dunking them. You kind of got to do it with a little bit of force so you can, it won't just stick on the top on the last one. You know? Oh, 
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the lid back on on and then set the timer for two hours after that guess what time it is if you said it's time to eat you would be right anyway I'll see y'all when it is done well here it is here's the final product a little bit soupy but hey it's supposed to be like it nice thick gravy like sauce in there tastes really good anyway if you have any questions or comments put them in the comments down below email me at lancemostv at gmail.com hit me up on facebook put your comments in the comment system down below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and well i'll see y'all next time Bye.